Hi, you guys. Welcome back to the So Long from McCall's 8255. Um, today is day three, so we are moving right along. If you've been keeping up at this point, you have the shell of your garment, which you have fitted and made any final adjustments that you were going to make to that. And then today we are going to be installing the zipper. But other than that, we're also going to attach the lining to the shell. So we will have a mostly finished garment with just raw edges on our sleeves. So without further ado, rambling on, let's get to sewing the rest of our top. All right, so with the zipper basted to the seam allowance, we can come in and essentially baste this down through all the layers. You just want, when you first baste it into the seam allowances, just feel with your fingers and make sure the zipper teeth are centered on the seam line. That's what really you're making, making sure of. That way, whenever you seam rip this seam open and expose the zipper teeth, they're as close to the center of that, those two folds as possible. So I'm feeling pretty good about mine. I'm um, gonna put this, uh, the zipper foot, the, the over the zipper teeth at this point, and then I'm gonna move the needle over so that it's about a quarter of an inch away from this seam line. And again, I'm still basting. But it's just sort of locked in place already. And obviously you're keeping the front of the garment out up, out from underneath the presser foot. All right, and I'm just uh, going as far as I can between the zipper pull and the stop. You can see I'm still about, I don't know, three eighths inch shy, but that's gonna be okay. We're gonna be able to get it stitched down all the way top to bottom after we get the lining in. So same thing from the other side. Okay, and at this point, you can take your seam ripper and cut open that seam line. So now we can unzip our garment completely and it opens up like a vest would. And the idea is that when you have, um, it open or closed for that matter, that you cannot see the zipper teeth. That's how you know you've centered everything perfectly. So come through here, remove all these little like stray threads and then meet me back at the cutting table where we're gonna attach our lining to our main fabric. All right, so we have our cell fabric with the zipper installed and we have our lining with the center back completely open. I have the neckline facing me right side up so the right side of our self fabric goes face down, right? And then you've got all of these notches. So we're gonna match those up, pin all around the neckline. And if you have opted to not make the lining at this point, this is when you are stitching your interfaced facing. You're stitching this to the neckline now. Okay, you're gonna come over here to the center back and this is, I'm going a little bit rogue, right? I'm not completely following the instructions um, because I don't want to do any hand sewing. <laughs> um, so I think this is going to work. But the idea is you come down here to where the zipper stop is on the top. You fold that toward the raw edges. Then lay, line everything up. This is facing out. We are going to pin this into place. And we are going to stitch from the hem up through here, all around our neckline and back down the other side. And then we should be able to turn the garment right side out through our arm side. All right, and because I already have my zipper foot on, I'm gonna start with the zipper and on the wrong side or on the main fabric side you can see it's folded over ever so slightly that is what is creating that little flap to cover our zipper teeth 
So when we go to stitch the lining to it, we want to stitch even a little bit further from that than we normally would. So we can put this in and instead of your zipper foot going over the zipper teeth, just place the edge of your foot along the edge of the teeth and that should secure it without compromising the, uh, the work on the, on the other side of the zipper. Okay, we're taking our seam allowances that are on the inside of our garment and turning those to the lining side. Seam allowances turned toward the lining. And then on the right side of the garment, you can see this uh, seam allowances are over here, not over here, they're over here. So we're gonna be stitching very, very close to the stitching line and that's gonna hold the seam allowances toward the lining, which is essentially gonna pull the lining toward the inside of the garment, and that's what keeps it from peeking out. All right, let me show you what this looks like once we're done. So our seam allowances are all now still, are all now, um, stitched to the lining of the garment and on the inside of our garment is where our stitching line is. This is our under stitching right here. And then on the right side of our garment, pretty side out, there is no stitching, but the lining is being ever so slightly pulled toward the inside of the garment. So you never see the lining from the outside. Isn't that super cool? Okay, so we need to trim our seam allowances. I like to do this with pinking shears because they already have the little notches in them. And that is what is gonna help it lay super flat through all of this. Um, so do that. And then turn the garment right sides together again, and then we'll start on our hem. Okay, just real quick, I went ahead and pressed my neckline. You can see how crisp and beautiful all of that looks, so happy. And then here is my zipper from the right side and from the wrong side without a single hand stitch in sight. <laughs> this is what that looks like. So also really nice and pretty. Then turn the um, facing to the inside and match up your bra edges of your hem and then pin at all of the seam all of the vertical seams, just pin those down and then stitch at your 5 8 inch seam allowance all the way around the hem. Stopping and starting at each little junction here. And then also you can move your zipper pull like halfway up. So completely pulling the garment out from the machine each and every time you come around to one of those small dots. Okay, so here is our hem after we have sewn all of the scallops. And again, we're, I'm gonna take pinking shears and I'm just going to trim as close to this stitching as I possibly can because that's what's gonna give you the nice, really crisp um, curves all along your hem. All right, so we've got all of that trimmed. And now you can reach in through your arm side, um, grab the zipper, pull it through, and then straighten everything out. And you should have a cutie little top with no sleeves. So a sleeveless little top with raw edges at this point. Take your point turner or a chopstick or pencil, whatever you've got, and go in through each of the arm size and just kind of straighten all this out. You're gonna wanna go to your iron and you're gonna wanna press this like a mad person. Um, but the idea is this, let me get you another one so you can see them, how they come together. Sh 
she's cute. She is stinking cute. So go press this, like I said, like crazy, um, all the way around the hem and we are done for today. Like I said before, if you have any questions at all, you want my advice on something, you got stuck somewhere, you need to show me something, become a hem cider. The link is in the description box. Become a hem cider and then you can join me tonight, 5.30 p.m. Eastern on Facebook. Um, I have a room set aside for the hem ciders um, and ex for, uh, in my exclusive Facebook group. Um, so that we can video chat and I can help you as you need. Okay, but we're feeling pretty good, right? About now you're like, wow, this is pretty much done. And you're right, it is. All we have left to do is the sleeve. We'll be tackling that tomorrow. Um, and I can't wait to finish up these tops with you. So see you tomorrow, guys.